So this course is called functional analysis and spectral theory. What does that mean? Well, functional analysis refers to doing analysis in function spaces. Function spaces are typically vector spaces. They typically come with a norm. They very often Banach spaces, that is to say they complete for their norm, but most of the time they are infinite dimensional vector spaces. So you cannot directly do linear algebra, which is designed for finite dimensional vector spaces in a space of function. So in the same way as linear algebra allow you to solve, say, a system of linear equation and describe the evolution of the system that's described by a few numbers, uh, if we could do linear algebra in infinite dimensions, then we would be able to describe the evolutions of functions, um, say, satisfying certain equations, like partial differential equations. So the aim of functional analysis and spectral theory is bring, well, spectral concepts, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, uh, to spaces of function, to infinite dimensional vector spaces. In a nutshell, it is infinite dimensional linear algebra. Now, you already, you've already done some functional analysis, you've already done analysis too, and you've learned Hilbert space theory. Now, Hilbert spaces can be finite or infinite dimensional Banach spaces that happen to have this extra structure uh, of being a Hilbert space. They have an inner product, they have a notion of orthogonality, and this makes them really perfect kind of Banach spaces. They really uh, for all practical purposes, they are as good as finite dimensional vector spaces. Now, what I'm doing in this course is, in the first two weeks, I do applied functional analysis. So we're going to see applications of functional analysis in Hilbert spaces. You already know enough Hilbert space theory from analysis to, to see these applications and realize that you can bring in almost all of the power of calculus, you know, your optimization theory, computing minima, maxima, for instance, uh, and the, the power of linear algebra, having something like diagonalization of matrices, all of that can be extended to infinite dimension when you work in Hilbert spaces, uh, and it's very useful to do so because, for instance, uh, quantum mechanics and all sorts of uh, models in all of the sciences are based on Hilbert spaces. Now, unfortunately, not all of analysis happens in Hilbert spaces. I mean, sometimes you might want to look at functions that are not square integrable, but just integrable, or you might want to look at continuous functions. So you might want to measure all sorts of other things than DL2 norm. And when you do that, you get out of the realm of Hilbert spaces into the realm of Banach spaces. And still, a fair amount of functional analysis can be done in these spaces, but it gets much harder than in Hilbert spaces. The lack of a notion of auto orthogonality of an inner product makes them geometrically uh, much more difficult spaces in which to do analysis. However, if you're still a Banach space, you still have completeness and you have the nice vector space structure uh, algebraically, there's still plenty you can hope to do. And really, the story of this course is, in the first two weeks, we see how much can be done in Hilbert spaces, and then we develop all of the machinery to do functional analysis outside of Hilbert spaces. They are called the cornerstone theorems of functional analysis. The name of Banach is all over the place. We learn about the Ann-Banach theorem, the banach steinhaus uniform uh, boundless principle. We learn about the banach alaoglu compactness theorem, and so on and so forth. All of these theorems uh, will mix some algebra and some topology and will allow us to bring some of the force of Hilbert space theory in the context of more general spaces. Once we can do that, we can start doing spectral theory, we can start doing linear algebra in those spaces, which is what we do towards the end of the course. Uh, and in the same way as we could uh, do dynamics, for instance, in finite dimension, look at the power of a matrix, compute eigenvalues, understand how things uh, evolved, in which direction, do they contract, do they explode, we can bring the same thing to infinite dimension and use that to solve ordinary differential equation or partial differential equations when you apply functional analysis. So this is what this course is about. Infinite dimensional linear algebra and there is really a whole zoology of spaces. Some are very close to finite dimension, the Hilbert space, spaces are the best one, and some are very far, very nasty, like the space of continuous function, for instance. And we learn uh, how, what sort of properties, how much do we need to know about the compatibility of the topology and the algebraic property uh, of the space in order to essentially do calculus and, and linear algebra and solve differential equation eventually.